Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're working on a Samsung TV today, and unfortunately, we have vertical lines going up and down from the very top of the TV all the way to the bottom. Let's go take a look. All right, DIYers, in front of us is our 55-inch Samsung TV. We will go ahead and turn it on with the remote. And unfortunately, as you can see on the right-hand side, there are vertical lines. And as we get a little closer, this is what is concerning us. We're worried that something internally is more damaged than we think. So what we'll do is we will move it to the workstation and take a look. At this point, I've got the TV up on a countertop, laying on a blanket, and you wanna make sure you have it on a soft surface to alleviate any further damage. And what I'll do first is direct the attention to these vents. You've got some here, you've got some on the very bottom. And these are here for a reason. It helps your TV properly ventilate as it is on and running and the internal parts are heating up. And what most people will say is just grab canned air and blow inside those vents. But the problem with that is in the event that there is dirt inside here causing your vertical or horizontal lines, well, if you just use that canned air to spray in these vents, chances are that dirt or debris will end up somewhere else inside the TV and cause further damage. So what we'll do You've got a whole bunch of Phillips screws all around your entire panel. Go ahead and remove every single screw so we can remove this back panel. Make a progress, I removed all the Phillips screws. In our case, we had to remove the base because there were three additional Phillips screws that hold the panel in place. There's our base. And I have laid out these screws in the exact pattern that they were on the TV. And do not force this panel. If you've removed all the screws, it should come off in a very friendly manner. If it is not, you have one or more screws still connected. Spend a few seconds and find it. I'll need both hands as I shift this panel off the TV. Back panel is removed. Again, do not force it. It should come off very easily. There it is against the wall. And from here, what we're going to do is spend a couple minutes and verify all your connection points are secured. You've got them all over the place. You also want to look for any melted wires or any signs of stretched to wires and follow every single wire connection. Just make sure everything is secure. And so far, so good. And see if you see any signs of damage or harm. And you're also looking for lint or dirt buildup because that can definitely cause it. A couple connection points over here as well. If all looks good, what we'll start doing is carefully disconnecting all of our connection points and just kind of taking a look at the internal leads and verifying that they are clean. And we will spend a few minutes and do this for all connection points. And when we get to the ribbon connections, this is very important. Do not use a screwdriver. Come down with your fingernail and pop this up just like that. And then you can carefully take this ribbon up and out just like that. On the back side is where the electrical leads are. It's a very unique design. Engineering at its finest right there. Verify no dirt or debris, dust whatsoever is in there. And just continue this for every connection point. And what I'm doing next is grab a Q-tip with some contact solution. You can purchase this at your local Office Max, Best Buy, or any computer store. And just clean those leads, set that aside. Carefully realign your ribbon back in place as shown here. In our case, it just slides underneath the plastic prongs on each side and carefully shift this securing tab back in place, just like that. And again, we'll do this for all ribbon connections. All right, DIYers, at this point, I spent about 15 to 20 minutes just taking a look at every single connection point, cleaning it, looking at all the wires, the entire control boards, the connection leads on the ribbon wiring, and again, every single connection point. And I also looked inside the holes here, verify no lint or dust that could be interfering with the screen. And after that, spent a couple minutes and just verified every single screw was properly secured. And if you do that, do your best not to over tighten those. And from here, all I've got to do next is put everything back together and test it because if it does not work after we put it back together, chances are it is the panel underneath this portion. And that would be no fun. However, before we put the panel on, check out your speakers. Pretty neat. Back panel is laid back in place. Be patient. Do your best not to harm anything as you place this panel back onto the TV itself and just properly align it. From here, what we'll do is resecure every single Phillips screw as well as the base. All right, DIYers, everything's back together, plugged in, and what we'll do is turn it on. And unfortunately, 
the lines are still there. So we have something more serious going on. And what we will do is look into it and figure this out. Chances are it could be the TCOM board or the actual panel itself. As you can see, it basically didn't fix anything. So what we'll do is we'll make a separate video on further investigating the problem with this TV and we'll post that link above. Definitely check that out in the event that you are curious. However, what we covered in today's video, hopefully it will help you get your TV fixed and alleviate those vertical or horizontal lines. From here, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.